Meet Hermione, a seven-year-old northern pine snake about to undergo surgery. Her name, of course, is taken from a character in the popular Harry Potter book series, but in Greek mythology, Hermione means earthly messenger, and that's especially fitting because of the role she will play following her procedure. Today we were taking out a transmitter from one of the snakes that we've been following at Franklin Parker Preserve, uh, a large female, and we were putting a new transmitter in. For two years, Hermione has been tracked to collect data for snake research. So in reality, and quite literally, she is a true messenger of the earth. The northern pine snake is a large, charismatic, uh, constrictor snake. It's got really nice adaptations with this modified rostral scale, and it uses its face to actually excavate through the sand. So, the first step is using anesthesia to put the snake to sleep. This takes about half an hour. Once she's out, an incision is made to access and remove the old transmitter. We then fed a new transmitter inside the body cavity, right between the ribs, right by the belly. So now in our final product, we have a snake with an antenna under the skin, a transmitter right between its ribs so that it can move freely and it won't hinder any food, and then we suture that up and in about 20 minutes or so, it'll be good to go and, and behaving like a normal, freshly done snake. The major factors that affect pine snakes are poaching for the pet trade, habitat loss due to development, and fragmentation of habitat. That's when the increase of traffic on roads leads to more snake deaths. We've saved a lot of land in the preservation area, the pine barrens, but we haven't, all we've done is increase traffic, places that were Lonely country roads 30 years ago are now major highways. After getting weighed and measured, Hermione gets a little time to recuperate. And then, it's back to her home territory in the heart of the Pine Barrens, where she will be tracked once again. So, next stop, home. Next stop, back to your den site so you can reorient. We, we gather data so that we can um, fend off road proposals, highway widening proposals, any other kind of development proposals that really are going into or threatening uh, threatened endangered species habitat. Really the value of the Pine Barrens, it's, it's very heavily undervalued. It's one of the largest green spaces along the East Coast. It's a fantastic, well-preserved area at this point. So not only is it a place where we can bring people into New Jersey and celebrate what New Jersey has been for so long, but it's also a way we can preserve that for the future. Okay, here you go, Hermione, you're all set. So here's your hole, smell it, smell the hole. And we wanna make sure that we don't See, put trails and uh, recreational activities in critical places that these snakes need for denning, uh, nesting, uh, feeding, that type of thing. So we wanna make sure that our recreational uses are all compatible with the needs of the threatened and endangered species at the preserve, they come first.